Hi, and welcome to Living Senior Wise. My name is Hazel, and my aim is to help you improve and or maintain an active and healthy lifestyle through exercise and education. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video, which is every Monday and some Thursdays. Today is all about strength exercises, which is part of our standing series. You'll need a stable chair and your weights for exercise, along with your water as usual. Let's get started. Let's warm up. Let's start with a hip hinge, sliding the hands down the thighs and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. One more. Stay down here. Keep those hands on the thighs. Curl the spine up and down, curl up, and down, curl, and up, last one, curl, come all the way up, legs a little wider, go down into a squat, and up, go down, so when you go into that squat, make sure you can still wiggle your toes, that way you know that you're not pushing your weight too far forward, four more, and up. You don't have to go too deep because this is just a warm up. One more. And up. Step, bring the legs in. Step and in. Step and close. Up the temple. Nice and easy. to get the body warmed up so that we can get ready to strengthen our bodies lift some weights today last set four three two and one take one leg forward one leg back reaching up with the arms reach and down reach. Stay at the top. Reach and down. Reach, 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 reach and down. Reach, 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 reach. One more. Reach and down. Switch legs. Up and down. Reach and down. Nice and easy. So our focus here is really lifting that ankle. Lift, oh my goodness, I'm losing my balance. Stay at the top, down, reach up. So you're giving me a little bit more extension here in the spine. Hold it there, down and up, down and up down last one and up legs apart just tap give me a little bit of rotation rotate just let those arms flow rotation going, upper body's rotating, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms forward, turn those thumbs out, 
take the arms back, forward, and back. Yes? Do it with me. And back. Lift the chest. Forward. And back. Soften those knees as we come down. And back. Forward. And back. Forward. And back. Forward. And back. Let's march in place. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's get ready to work. Grab your chair. Welcome back. So I have my chair and I have my weights. We're going to use one weight at the moment. Single arm reverse flies. So take one leg forward. The weight is in the opposite hand. You're going to lean forward on your chair. Still maintaining a nice long length of the body. Arm is down at the side. You're going to lift the weight up to the side. So it's lift for two and down for two. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep going. Lift and lower. So as you lift the arm, you also want to slide that shoulder blade across towards the center, which is the spine. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Other side. You can stay there. I'm going to move my chair just so you can see me on the other side. Nice long line, hold on to that chair. This just gives you support, arm hanging down, lifting out to the side, here we go. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift that arm, hold it, and down. Lift, hold it, and down. Keep going, four more. Lift, and down. Lift, and down. Two more. Excellent. Shake the arms out. Roll the shoulders back. Squats next. Down and lift. Down and lift. Now if you need a little help, you can just tip right there on the chair. Otherwise, it's down, reach forward, Press through those heels, stand up, press up, down, press up, down, press up. Give me four more, down and up. Down and up. Down and up. One more. Excellent. Get your weights again. Back to the upper body. Arms are down at the side. You're going to lift those arms up. Now, when they're up, just bring them slightly forward and take them back down. So it's up and down. Lift. Those arms are slightly forward, especially if you have shoulder pain, yes? Lift. Soften those knees. Tighten the abdominals. Keep 
those shoulders down. Make sure they're not popping up by the ears. Four more. Lift and down. Two and down. Two more. Lift and down. Last one and down. Back to the legs. Calf raises. Chair is here for support. Lift for two and down for two. So feet are hip distance apart. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Get as high as you can. All the way up to the top. Stay there. Now we pulse. Lift, 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 lift. Abdominals are still tight. Shoulders are back and down. Lift. 16 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And down. Shake them out. So that was legs. Now we go back to the upper body. Weights in hand, pull those arms back. And from this position, all we're gonna do is extend the arms and in. Extend the arms and in. So the shoulders aren't moving, it's just from the elbow down. Yes, push and in. Push the arm back and in. Push. And in. Push. And in. Extend. Squeeze at the end. Extend. Squeeze at the end. Only four more. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Excellent. How are we doing? Back to the legs. This time we're working those muscles that extend the legs, okay? Lift and down. Notice I'm leaning my body forward a bit and I'm supporting my body using that chair. Lift. Lift and down. Lift and down. Relax those shoulders. Now lift and hold it there. Add a little bit more on. So we're going to cross that leg behind and up. Cross. So you're extending it past the other leg, the standing leg. Four more. Keep that knee a bit soft. Three more. Two more. One more. I know you're feeling it on the standing leg, aren't you? Shake that leg out. Let's turn to the other side. You can stay right there. Four, three, get in position. Straight up and down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. This knee is soft, slightly bent. Hips are facing towards the floor. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and hold the last one. Now we cross. Down and lift. Cross and lift. 
cross and lift. Only four more. Four and lift. Three and lift. Two. Standing like feeling it. Last one and lift. Shake it out. Grab those weights again, back to the upper body. This time we go with a bicep curl, push straight up, come down, straighten the arms out. Do it with me. Press. Eight more, seven, six, almost there, last one, and down. Last exercise for the legs. Here we go. Using your chair again. We're going to lift the leg out to the side. Yes? Out to the side. Now, as you lift, make sure that those toes are pointing forward. So it's not a huge movement, okay? Okay. We don't want the toes turning out this way. Keep them pointing forward. Four more. Lift. Lift. Two more. Switch the chair over. Get ready. Four, three, two. Toes pointing forward. Stand tall. Here we go. Lift and down. 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 Lift, down. I know you're feeling it. Four more, that's it. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Let's get ready to cool down and stretch. One leg back, one leg forward. Make sure both sets of toes are pointing forward. Bend that back knee, hold it there. Now straighten that back leg. Hold it there. Relax those shoulders. Lift the chest up. Bend that back knee again. Try not to lift the heel off the floor. Just go as far as you can. It's not a huge movement. Straighten that back leg. Press that weight forward. Lift the chest up. Stay right there. Now take the hand that's opposite to the leg that's forward. Reach that hand to the outside and outside of that leg and rotate the upper body. And 
and relax. Turn to the other side. Both sets of toes pointing forward, hips facing square, same direction as those toes. Bend that back leg. Straighten that back leg, lean the body slightly forward. Shoulders down. Again, bend that back leg, try to keep the heel on the floor. How do you feel about your workout today? Remember, you can always go back to the beginning of the strength segment, straighten that leg, and you can repeat it if you feel as if you need more. I'll put the timestamp in the description below. Take the hand, put it on the outside of the leg that's facing forward, and rotate the upper body. And relax. Hands on the thighs. Just where we started, curl that spine up. Hold it there, doesn't that feel great? And release. Again, curl. And release. Now roll all the way up. This exercise you can do standing or sitting. I'll show you in both positions. Cross the leg and simply just go into that hip hinge that we did before. Switch legs, cross the leg over, lean forward and go into that hip hinge. Sometimes we see that we have muscle imbalances because simply one will, you'll feel a greater stretch on one side more than the other. So we know that there's some muscle imbalances that we have. So we have to work through them. Sometimes you have to stretch one side more than the other. And up. Imagine you have a big tree trunk right here and you're trying to get your arms around that tree trunk. Rotate the thumbs back, take the arms back, lift the chest and head. Lift, lift, lift. Reverse it again, hug that tree. And reverse it. Arms down, roll the shoulders back and roll and roll. Roll forward. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Thank you so much for being with me today and I'll see you in our next video. If you found this video helpful, I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks and bye.